Welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fast, Not a User's Guide to Gunslinging. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a guy doing something, doing something a little bit, uh, a little bit wrong, right? This is our man here. We're going to start off just shaving in a beard. Shaving in a beard. Remember those beard exercises I gave you last week to practice on? Hopefully you've been working on them. Okay. Because that's today's focus is going to be on a man who looks like this, right? And he's going to be in a department store. Or, well, probably better if we make this. We can make it a beard store, okay? So over here, we'll just have a little sign that says beard store on the wall. A big glowing neon sign, right? Beard store. And what's this over here? This is a shelf aisle. Where they keep all the beard butter. Mm hmm. Just rows and rows of beard butter everywhere. Look at all that beard butter. And what's he doing? He's taking it with his hand, okay? His beardless hand. And he's gonna shove it, okay? Into these large pockets. See how his shirt, see how I made it so his shirt is kind of bulging out on both sides? That's because he's shoveling jars of beard butter into his pockets here right? and and it looks like it looks like he's a little more rotund than he actually is see that and he's he's not gonna there's surveillance cameras and everything so we don't know what's gonna happen this is a surveillance camera it's a good thing he's got a uh, a samurai sword on his back because he's going to need it to fight his way past these security guards that are waiting right over here. They look small, but this actually what this is, this is called, uh, this is how you do dimensions. I don't know if I really touch on that too much. This is how you do dimensions. This is a security officer right here waiting. And basically he's He's here to do a job, right? He's getting paid to make sure no one steals all the beard butter, what this guy is doing. I mean, we can actually see the beard butters, right? See it flying into his pocket. Just make those little noises, that way we know it lands in his pocket. Okay? And this is how we work with perspective, see? He looks big and he looks small. It's just because he's far away. He's just in the background. Alright? So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the picture that we drew together. And, uh, hope you had a lot of fun. Tune in next time, where I show you how to draw God.